Hello students, I am Dr. Tanmay Vishash and I welcome you all in my channel Tanmay Kim. Today's topic of discussion is this MCQ. I request you please pause the video, try by yourself and whatever answer you get, please write in the comment box. I believe you have uh, tried, so let's start. Now, what is the major product of this reaction? So here you can see bromo and nitro in 1-2 position treated with oleum, what is the product? Now by the way student, this problem is actually about the selectivity and first of all, influence of the group if you look at halogens for example if i say bromine so what bromine does bromine can donate its pair of electron and increase the electron density in the ortho and para position by the way there is one logic that these halogens are ortho para orienting but deactivating so i have already uploaded a dedicated lecture where the effect of substituents on aromatic liquid substitution i request you please visit that video for better understanding so here this electron density will come and it will be open so what is the canonical form so first canonical form is this bromine by the way still the two lone pair remaining only one lone pair came here now in the next phase it pushes it comes so ultimately again this next canonical form is bromine is carrying the positive charge double bond this so i'm not drawing others so i suggest you you can try in your home so here one thing that if i make a summary that bromine increases electron density in this to ortho position and para position so that's why electrophile will preferentially react here by the way remember student one statement don't get do not get confused that halogens are ortho para orienting but deactivating means presence of bromine overall reduce electron density on benzene ring consequently aromatic electrolytic substitution will happen on ortho para position but reactivity will be lesser compared to benzene now from here you understand the electron density at ortho and para position is more so electrophile will preferentially attach ortho and para now it is not that much easy there is a twist twist means there is an no2 group so here positive here negative it's a single bond so do not get confused single bond this is now in this case first this bond will go this will open up consequently the first canonical form is expected to look like this is n o minus another o minus nitrogen carrying positive charge positive charge is here so another canonical form i shall draw that is this bond will go there consequently positive charge will appear here this is nitrogen o minus this is also o minus and nitrogen carrying the positive charge and uh, here now if i say about nitrobenzene then you can say that sir this nitrobenzene will introduce positive charge in ortho and para position positive charge means deficiency of electron now so here because of nitro group there will be a positive charge means positive charge ortho here here and here so now one thing is true you can say that sir because of this this position no reaction this position no reaction and obviously this position bromine is there so there is no chance of reaction now where reaction possible only these ortho and this pair these two places possible now question where the reaction is expected to occur remember halogen shows both minus i and plus r effect okay so minus i means sigma withdrawing if you look at this position this ortho position with respect to bromine may influence or encounter some amount of sigma withdrawing I mean minus i effect but if you look at para that is far away from this bromine consequently the minus i will not operate here although plus i will operate and with respect to no2 both position both this position and this position both are actually meta so equally probable consequently this para position is maximum preferred second so first we understand aromatic liquid substitution will happen at here now question here oleum is taken what is oleum oleum is a mixture of concentrated sulfuric acid or pure sulfuric acid plus sulfur trioxide so this is actually oleum you add this two will get this formula now here sulfur trioxide actually adds as acts as the electrophile or sometimes people writes in a different way 
protonated sulfur trioxide act as the electrophile. Both you can write whatever you think accurate for you. But one thing this protonated form of sulfur trioxide is more electrophilic. Why? Because this sulfur center previously attached to three oxygen. So this is delta positive, oxygens are delta negative due to electronegativity difference between sulfur and oxygen. Now you have added another proton. Proton means only there is no electron. So it's an extremely electron deficient act. By the way, in proton there is no electron at all. So addition of proton with this oxygen will enhance the electron deficiency of oxygen. Consequently, it will pull more electron density from sulfur. Consequently, this sulfur will be even better electrophile. So if it reacts ultimately, what will happen? It will produce this Br plus NO2 and at the end SO3H. How does it look like? This, this. Now what actually happened here? So you can expect student that OH is there, two double bonds are there. So these double bonds, sulfur oxygen double bond here get converted into single bond. So this is a single bond, sigma bond. And there is a new bond formation between carbon and sulfur and whatever proton is here that is got replaced. So fine, it's an aromatic electrophilic substitution and produces this. So here the SO3 H group is para with respect to the bromine. So that is actually asked. So look at here. So what is the product? So SO3 with respect to para BR. Okay, this is the answer. Now question, if you do not know this much, how can you get? Now remember, nitro is a strong minus R. So it's strong minus I, minus R, both strong with electron withdrawing. So this ortho and para, sorry. So these two ortho and para here, no aromatic electrophilic substitution possible. So only here and here possible. So if you know this answer, simply student, this option gone, this option gone, these op uh, no, 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 these two option gone. Now your question, these or position or this position, generally, I say apart from few exception, generally aromatic electrophilic substitution preferentially happens on the para position with respect to electron donating group or here you can say halogen which shows plus R effect. Although remember the minus I effect of halogen is dominated over its plus R effect. So para position happen. So that's why these will be the answer. So this is the overall discussion for today. Thanks for watching. See you in my next video. Bye-bye.